Hello everybody and welcome back to what's new in Apple Arcade in the month of December and we have got a range of titles to talk about today. There's quite a few and I'm excited to see that Apple are still throwing titles at Apple Arcade, keeping the arcade as fresh as you'd want if it was a real one back in the 80s. And do you know what's really interesting? No Christmas themed games and the more I think about it, neither do PlayStation and Xbox ever drop Christmas themed games. So if you're coming here thinking it's December to find a game for this holiday season, you will find some some games they just won't be themed around Santa or Christmas. I just want to say a massive thank you to Diana Vance who is the official first channel member and it's an absolute pleasure and the fact that you've contributed towards the channel really does make what we do or what I do you know a reality and it's amazing so a massive thank you to you and I'm only really bringing it up in this episode because it conveniently landed on the same day I released last month's video so I'm trying to put two and two together here but thank you so much the support has gone an absolute long way it's really appreciated on the channel so thank you so much let's talk about today's first game which is actually a plus title and if you're a fan of barbie you'll enjoy this one it's quite a creative game and might not be for everyone certainly not me but it's definitely a good title to start off with and it's called barbie's color creations you can kind of probably guess what you're going to be doing in this in this game but you'll delve into the world of barbie in this creative world where you get to design outfits decorate rooms and express your artistic flair you know from customizing barbie's wardrobe to dreamy rooms this allows just lets your imagination run wild and complete challenges to unlock new stuff and accessories it's a perfect mix of creativity and nostalgia offering a fun experience for all ages or just long-term barbie fans we all know you're out there they had a film last year so so if you enjoyed the film or anything pink or just love a bit of customization and want a bit of mindfulness just to pass the time then definitely give barbie a download this is available on iphone and ipad because of course this is a touch experience the next title to come to apple arcade is another classic a name that we all love from the arcade era and that is pac-man in his new title pac-man 256 plus which is a plus title landing on iphone ipad and apple tv questioning where the mac's gone there not too sure but this game is launched on those platforms Platforms and it's another take on the classic format where Pac-Man goes around an endless maze collecting pellets while being chased by some ghosts. This has had a little bit more of a modern spin put on it which means you've got power-ups and multiplayer which is exciting because I know from a classic experience Pac-Man is something you just can't fault so adding some modern day techniques to a game that probably wouldn't have been able to run with power-ups back in the day is nice to see. It's a, it's a mix of nostalgia and innovation all at the same time with of course vibrant visuals and endless replayability because of course pac-man you just can't go wrong with and again it is on iphone ipad and apple tv the next title is hot wheels race off and i've realized as i'm recording this how much nostalgia apple are throwing at us this december hot wheels barbie and pac-man all stuff from the late 80s early 90s it's just pretty cool to see these names resurfacing for us to enjoy you know if we were there back then or for the new generation to just get these names and brands in their life and this of course is going to have you revving your engine and enjoying a racing game like you are playing with toys going through hot wheels themed tracks and doing stunts this game actually allows you to build custom tracks upgrade your vehicles and perform stunts while playing it in single player modes which is great but also to have a multiplayer mode as well just to sort of create that element of fun whether you're playing with your friends right next to you like an old split screen experience or playing over the internet and just you know having that fun enjoying the cars and you know bringing back some of those iconic designs from Hot Wheels you know the physical toys and giving you that sort of flipping the car through the air and landing it was you know that cool high octane fun I think they would say on the adverts. This next title coming to Apple Arcade is an all-rounder but also they've dropped it on the Vision Pro. Now Apple I'm not even ready for five platforms on this channel but this game will launch on everything including the Vision Pro and this is Talking Tom Blast Park it's from Outfit 7 and it's good to see Talking Tom when he's been on the channel before as a friendly pet but now him and his friends are going against the raccoons who have taken over a theme park and it's your job playing the game to clear waves out but you're not just going to be using standard weapons no you're going to use the duckinator and the power plunger to name a few that are going to help you clear up this theme park and restore it back to its fun and exciting state this title of course is landing on all the platforms but as I mentioned at the beginning this is also available on the Apple Vision Pro for an extra immersive experience taking out the raccoons 
This next title is an absolute classic when it comes to word games. Boggle Arcade is the classic revamped version for fast pace and a digital experience of a word game. This is an all rounder, as I've mentioned, which is great if you've got any platform of Apple. But what's special about this is they've got a unique multiplayer mode. But before we talk about that, the single player modes they've included, like adventure mode and skill builders and daily challenges are all there for people that want a solo experience. There is a competitive multiplayer with a power mode and a classic mode but it's the share play option in the description that really picked up something magical really because this allows you to connect with your loved ones no matter how far away they are but you can connect through FaceTime with up to 32 people. This to me is a massive innovation for Apple Arcade to be able to integrate a game through FaceTime I believe is a step in a direction that not many other platforms can even compare to so well done Apple I think this is a really inclusive experience for the whole family and can you imagine Imagine if you got snowed in this holiday season and you just decide let's have a game of boggle over FaceTime because that's what it's designed for so if you are a word or a puzzling fan definitely try out boggle that's releasing on the 5th. These next titles coming to Apple Arcade are classic remakes. Now I wasn't a fan of Final Fantasy but it's good to see that three titles coming in one month uh, for any Final Fantasy fans out there and some of them have been remade from 2D into 3D. I don't know too much about the games but they are available on iPhone and iPad and it's good to see another name. Honestly this episode may as well just called Nostalgia because the amount of titles here that I know would have come from you know my generation of PS1, PS2 uh, is so cool to see. But Final Fantasy have had some remakes. They are available across iPhone and iPad and would have been integrated with some really cool touch controls. So definitely try those out if you ever played them or you want to get into some role playing games. And the last title we're dropping on Apple Arcade. Now this is the one more thing of the what's new in the Apple Arcade show because I was not expecting a Vision Pro drop. But this is Little Cities Diorama. It's only available on the Vision Pro and it allows you to build and manage a miniature city. You're almost sitting in the clouds watching your city develop and it's all in 3D and immersive. And it's, you know, that experience where you get to create and customize the city, manage its resources, complete challenges. And because of course it's built for the Vision Pro, it's going to be really immersive with some interactions that you just would not get if you weren't in virtual reality. So if you do like a small charming strategic city builder then yeah this is definitely up your street i will be trying this on the vision pro i think this is definitely up my street from someone who plays a lot of the sims and city skylines you know this is definitely ticking the boxes of game recommendations for me and it's exciting to see that apple are advertising that they're doing these drops for the vision pro and not leaving it out because it is future tech and not a lot of us have it but that doesn't mean the people who do have it have to miss out on some of the games so it's fantastic to see and do you know what what a month we've had this this is an eight minute video from my counter it's a very long video for what's new we normally get in four or five titles but we've pretty much had if you count the remakes we've probably had about eight titles here all dropping between the fifth and the ninth they are labeled on the app store it's great to see apple you're doing a fab job for the arcade um and also just a massive thank you to our channel member uh, i'm not forgetting that from the beginning of the video it's an absolute pleasure so i hope you've enjoyed today's video let us know what games you want to try out or games you think should come to the apple arcade there's some i think could be great plus experiences. But thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in another video.